when you ask someone what is PTSD? It's a very hard thing to answer. It's a condition that the entire Israeli society is suffering from. In Israel, it was only after the first Lebanon war, in the late 80s. That was the first time I think people actually acknowledged that something is happening to people when they go to war. Each person takes it differently, because each person comes with a different background and different history. And it's not like a physical injury that you can see it and, you know, okay, I don't have a leg, I, don't, I mean, I don't have an eye, so it's very easy to say. I think it's a disorder with your ability to deal with stress in life. And it doesn't matter how you look at it, life, especially life today, are stressful. It's weird because things you used to do, suddenly you can't do them. They don't come easy. And, and you start to hate yourself, which, and it becomes like a feedback loop. The first time that I saw someone really open, it was in one of the delegation in Cape Town. You saw someone that you know that is really close and it's very hard for him to speak about the injury. And then after a couple of soldiers that speaking, you can see that he came and he said, I want to speak. And you see the person like letting everything go out and you see that this is the moment that someone figure it out that it's like, if my brother can speak, I can speak also. I'm injured in a special uh, action of uh, Polano Force in uh, deep, very deep in Lebanon. When they see the group of soldiers, of brothers that's sitting with them, and each one of them have the same injury, you know that you have someone from the other side that really understand what you're speaking about. This is what's special at this organization, that you have many people, but all of them have the same feeling. All the time that I'm coming, I look after the people and after the exercise, and I'm back home, and I think what they want. And I do it, and it's work. Uh, I think this is the first time that you're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the first time that I uh, say it. The foundation does something to people from the minute they join in. I think there's so much to learn from it, from this special model that came from people who had no idea about the psychological part of PTSD. They just did what they felt they had to do. But from this intuition, something huge happened. It's a family. Never mind what you've been through, here you become part of the same unit. It's something that you can't get in any organization or any foundation in Israel. And this is what's so special. A place that you feel belong and you don't have to justify yourself. If we had the, the ability to be able to find that soldier who's, he's been stuck in his apartment by himself, he's, he's cut off from everybody and he just, he's just suffering, he's just suffering and he doesn't know that we're there, or he won't come, or he, you know, we ha there's a way we can get to him. We would find every single one of those guys. I wish that all over the world, people will have groups like we have. A special group that they can be themselves with no one judging them. These are the shining stars of the Jewish people, and they've paid for it with their own blood. Trying to enable those people who protected us and our children. They are going to be the leaders of this country, and so too their children. If a person changes life, this is what he passed to his children, this, this knowledge, this perspective on life. And those children get educated, and they have children, and they pass them the knowledge and when a parent is in a, in a better situation so the kid will grow up in a better way the impact that it 
effect after 20, 50, 100 years, it's on the whole society. When you change one person, you change everything around you. זה יכול להיות מודל uh, לאנשים ש, שיכולים לעזור אחד לשני בכל תחום. אנשים בעולם צריכים להתנער טיפה ולהבין ש, שאם אחד לא יעזור לשני, אז, אז אנחנו, מאבדים, אנחנו מאבדים את טעם החיים. Uh, ואני חושב שכאן יכולה להיות uh, uh, פריצת דרך היסטורית וגדולה בהסתכלות של אנשים על החיים. And in the water, when you, when you throw a stone, the stone hits the water and goes down. But then there is a circle, and there is another circle. It's unlimited circles that will never end. And if we will still keep throwing the right stones to the right places, we will change the world. <laughs>